Mr. President. See how stealthily, how silkily, by how many small steps, how insidiously and invidiously we have moved towards the establishment of a pan-European federal police force. When Europol was first established in the early 1990s, it was presented as a clearinghouse, as a regional branch of Interpol, if you like. And then bit by bit, it has been given executive and policing powers. Now, of course, first these were portrayed as being narrowly in the field of cross-border uh, counter-terrorist activities. That, of course, is how the FBI got started, and bit by bit it eventually extended its remit and agglomerated powers until it had become a federal pan-continental police force. A, sa a similar process is now at work with Europol, uh, which has gradually extended its remit to cover a whole series of crimes that are national in nature, but with the rather fascinating oversight that its personnel still have diplomatic immunity. In other words, they can't be held to account for abuse of police powers. Mr. President, when did we ever vote for this? When did we ever agree to set up a pan-European system of criminal justice with its own arrest warrant, its own police force, its own pan prosecuting magistracy, its own pan-European public prosecutor? I think we ought to have the courtesy to ask our people, our voters, whether they approve.